story goes, little hope of bigger dreams. Hey, what's my froze? It's me, Gina Marie, and in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys some of my favorite Obia Natural hair products. As you guys know, I really like this brand. I pretty much use all of their products. I think there's only one product from them that I have not used. But other than that, I've pretty much used all their products. And I wanted to share with you guys, you know, Black Friday is coming up. Wanted to share with you guys, give you guys a quick little rundown on all the products and which ones I think you should buy. So before we get into this video, if you have not subscribed and joined our smartphone family, make sure you hit the subscription button as well as the notification button so you don't miss out on any new uploads. And let's get into this Obia Natural rundown. Yeah, let's call it that. Okay, so we're going to start this video by talking about their shampoo. So they have two shampoos. They have a coconut shea shampoo bar and they have a neem tea tree shampoo bar. This shampoo, the coconut shea shampoo bar, is more of their moisturizing shampoo bar. And then the neem tree shampoo bar is more of a clarifying shampoo bar. So I like this neem tree shampoo bar because it is... I feel like I like this shampoo bar more when it comes starts to get colder because for some reason when it starts to get colder, let me know if this happens to you. I feel like my head becomes a little bit more tender. I don't want to say it becomes itchy. Sometimes it does, but it's more so on the tender side where even doing high puffs kind of hurt even though my high puffs aren't tight around my head. So I feel like the tea tree in this gives it the very smooth and relieving feel that I like on my head during around the cold winter time. So that's what this is for. But you know, if you're more of a moisture based shampoo, both of these products clean your hair very well. Then the coconut shape shampoo bar is definitely something you want to pick up. So you will notice the difference when you use the Nim Tree and then the coconut shape bar, because like I said, the Nim Tree is definitely more on the clarifying side of the products. And then the next product is their Babasu Detangling Conditioner. I use this just like it says, Detangling Conditioner, and this is hands down one of my favorite detangling conditioners. Amazing, easily run product through your head. Absolutely love it. I always keep a backup to this backup because that's how much I love this stuff. Um, it's just absolutely amazing, easy to detangle, just a really good product. Deep conditioner, so they have two deep conditioners. They have a moisture deep conditioner, and then they also have a protein deep conditioner, which they just released. So their Babasu deep conditioner, this is nothing but straight moisture. It has it's absolutely no protein in it whatsoever. And then their Babasu therapy hair mask is the protein deep conditioner of these product lines. Definitely pay attention because they both have that yellow label. So, you know, be careful. Pay attention to what you're doing because you might accidentally, going for the moisture deep conditioner, accidentally get the protein. But I do like both of these products. I actually really, really enjoy this protein deep conditioner because it's not one of those protein deep conditioners that if you leave it in too long, your hair will become hard and things like that. It's perfectly balanced. You can definitely feel your hair being stronger, but you don't feel that you don't have that hard feeling in your hair. Your hair still feels soft. And so I do like this one. And then this Babasu deep conditioner is just like hands down, definitely in my top five favorite deep conditioners that I absolutely highly recommend this deep conditioner, especially if you're type four kinky, this deep conditioner is what you're looking for. I'm telling you now, you're looking for this deep conditioner. The next four products are actually their styling products. So they have the Curl Moisture Cream, which is their leave-in. They also have a curl enhancing cluster for those who like to do wash and goes. And then they have their Twist Whip Butter as well as their Sweet Heavy, Sweet Almond Heavy Cream. So I highly recommend that for all of these products, you definitely get the Curl Moisture Cream as this because this is the leave-in pretty much of their products. You can definitely get away with kind of using this product alone. Just make sure to go in with the oil to seal in that product. It's definitely on the moisturizing side and definitely a moisturizing product. So you can use it alone. I personally just find that I get better results if I pair it with one of their stylers. So my go-to styler to pair with that Curl Moisture Cream is the Twist Whip Butter. I have tons of videos 
using the, those combinations when it comes to this product. I really like this, especially because I'm a twist out, braid out kind of girl. And so this is definitely my go-to when it comes to this one. Now for the difference between the twist whip butter and the sweet heavy almond cream, this is definitely what it says. It's definitely on the heavier side, the sweet almond heavy cream versus the twist whip butter. But I find that I do like this product a lot more as it gets colder. And then I also like this sweet almond heavy cream as it gets uh, as a daily moisturizer. But for the twist whip butter, I just find that I absolutely love the combination with the curl moisture cream and this one for braid outs and twist outs. My moistures last me all week and I just really, really enjoy this product and this combination. If I had to choose, I would definitely just take the twist whip butter over the sweet almond heavy cream any day, definitely would. And then the curl enhancing cluster is definitely for those who like wash and goes, like I said. Um, I typically, I've only used this like twice, and so I do have a lot of product left. But it is definitely a curl enhancing. I wouldn't pair this alone though, because I find that it's not that moisturizing by itself. So you do want to go in with a good, super moisturizing leave-in and uh, make sure to seal with a oil or something like that to just lock in that moisture because this is pretty much just a curl enhancer, at least when it comes to my type for hair. Somebody who has a different hair type might think differently. They might feel it to be more moisturizing just for me. And me doing wash and goes, I find that I do have to use a more heavier leave-in so that it's not as drying. But I do have their curl hydration spray and for the longest I didn't really know how to use this or what to use it for. You can use it as a braid spray but what I have been using it for is just to refresh. When I refresh my twist outs and stuff I used to go back in with more product and I found that that literally caused flaked flakes and so what I have been doing I actually broke this thing so it doesn't spray. I put it in a separate water bottle and I've just been using this to spray and retwist my hair and it's been helping keep my hair super moisturized. I don't have to go in with a ton of product and so now that I actually found a product for the, to use this I do like it. Would I necessarily purchase it again? No because you know you can kind of just use water and create your own little mist refresher spray you don't necessarily have to buy one unless you just really want to so the products that i recommend out of that line is definitely the curl moisture cream the twist whip butter definitely the babasu deep conditioner if you're looking for a protein deep, deep conditioner then i would recommend that protein deep conditioner as well um those are literally and the detangling conditioner those are literally my favorite products the ones that i know i will always always repurchase so hopefully this video is good for you guys if you are trying to get some of the products from for black friday because i plan to have this out before black friday so hopefully this video will be helpful for you guys on what to get what to buy this video is not sponsored whatsoever i do have a coupon code uh, I will wait to use my coupon code because they might have a better Black Friday deal than my coupon code. But if you want to purchase, my coupon code is forever. You get 15% off. So if, you know, later on in the year you want to use it again, then go ahead and use the coupon code One Smart Pro. But wait to use that coupon code. You can use my link if you're purchasing from Black Friday. Use my link and then, you know, I could still get a little coins. But you don't necessarily have to. You can wait till Black Friday and use their Black Friday code to get a better deal. Depending on, I don't know what their deal is going to be for Black Friday, but I feel like they're going to have an awesome deal. They have great deals throughout the year, so I don't see why not. Hope this video was helpful. If it was, make sure to thumbs it up. If I have any more lines that I have pretty much all their products, I will definitely do more videos like this so you guys can see which ones to grab and pick. Hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure to thumbs it up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. So you really made it to the end of the video. You the real MVP. But because you made it to the end of the video, I know you like my content. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my other uploads. Also, make sure you check out these other two videos that I posted on my channel. And thank you guys so much for watching.